Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use qualifiers in order to provide a specific variant of some of the dependencies you have. Let's get started. So this is an example to show you something. Let's pretend we have a class called view model, right? In a lot of cases, you want to eject a dispatcher, okay? Let's have our constructor inject here. And we want to inject a coroutine dispatcher, right? We can provide it like the following. Now here the dispatcher, you want to provide different dispatchers to different stuff. For example, we can create a module like following. I'm going to put everything into one simple class. Here before that, in health, I'm using health uh, 2.48, okay? And I'm using it with KSP. This is fine. So here, let's pretend I'm having a module and let's say I'm going to install it in the singleton component like that. And let's call it dispatchers module like following. And here, let's say I'm going to provide the I dispatcher, okay? And here we can say that it's going to be coroutine dispatcher. And here you can do dispatchers.i, okay? This is how you can provide it. This is how you can get it. Now, what will happen is that in a lot of cases, you won't just have only the I dispatch. Maybe you want the unconfined dispatcher. So here, in order to have the unconfined dispatcher, I'm going to do here, unconfined dispatcher, right? Now, how do you tell that in this case, I want this dispatcher and not this dispatch. Well, there is actual way to do it. For example, there is a named like following. In this, you can provide a name for this dependency. You can call it IO, for example, just a simple string. You can, of course, create constant for that also. And here, let's call it unconfined, okay? Now, you notice that we are not providing any of these because this will require what is the dispatcher you want. And here, you can use the name. And again, you need to pass which one you are providing like the following, and here we are going to provide this one to this one, okay? This is a cool way to do it. There is an actual better way, because we are not depending on string, you can create what we call annotation, specific annotation. These are called qualifiers, right? So here is how you do it. First, you create an annotation. Here we are going to create annotation for this one and for this one, right? How you can do it? You can create an annotation like the following, annotation class, and you can call it IO dispatcher. Okay, this is the annotation are going to have. And then you need to annotate it with qualifier. Okay, and then we need something related to the retention of this annotation because we need this in the compile time. We don't need it in the, uh, what we call it, the runtime. time. So there is something called retention here, retention. And in this one, there is something called annotation retention and you need to make it in the binary. Okay, so this will be presented in the dot class files. Okay, just make sure to, uh, to present this whenever you are dealing with qualifiers because this one, this annotation will be required for only compile time stuff. Okay, so using this annotation binary, this annotation won't be presented at runtime via the reflection. Okay, this is the main thing. If you want it to be presented via the reflection, you can use runtime. Okay, I think this is the default one, the default. So using reflection, you can access what is the annotation being used and everything. But we don't want it at the runtime. We want only to be presented at the class file in the binary format. That's why we use this one. Now, what is the beauty is that you can get rid of this name and call it IO dispatch, like the following. And here, instead of using this name, because sometimes you make typo, well, you can use a uh, constant strings, but you can use it that way directly with the I dispatcher. The only downside is that uh, for everyone, you have to do another thing for the unconfined, for example, you can get here for the unconfined, unconfined dispatcher and tell it, hey, you can use unconfined here. But it reads really well. Here with the annotation, it's much better, like it's specific annotation for each dispatch. So this is how you can provide specific dependencies. For example, you have multiple types of, for example, this scrutiny dispatcher, and you can tell it in a much readable way which dependencies you want, okay? That's pretty much it for this video. Actually, I'm having full playlist about health in my YouTube channel, you can check it. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and always see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.